Steve McLean um, and I'm screening my film postcards from London at the Lovers Festival in Turina. I started thinking about the film probably about six years ago. Um, I wanted to do a film about London. I wanted to do a film about a, a young man's obsession with art. Um, but I didn't want it to be a specific time in London. I wanted it to be timeless. Um, and I wanted him to experience the city afresh and new. Um, and it developed from there. I wanted Postcards to be about um, a young man's journey into self-discovery um, in terms of his sexuality, in terms of his um, appreciation of art and books and literature. Um, so in a sense, the central character goes on this journey of, of discovery, which coincides with him arriving in, in London. Um, so the film is about that journey and the relationship um, between um, his sexuality, his appreciation of art, and I wanted to make those connections. And I reference um, Caravaggio, I reference Francis Bacon, um, Derek Jarman, uh, Pasolini, um, and I just wanted to use the film to, to connect those artists, even though they're very, very different artists and they come from different periods. Um, but I wanted it to be about a journey into um, an appreciation of, of, of different artists. I, I wanted the film to be about the connection between bodies, uh, uh, specifically the male body, the young male body, and, and art. Um, and I wanted the central character to be not only the object of desire in, in the film, but also he is looking at, at paintings and he's looking at images which he himself desires and he himself is interested in. And, um, and I wanted to, to, to make that connection between the, the person who is the, the object of desire and also he's looking at art himself. I, I wanted postcards to be timeless, I think. I, want, I wanted it to be not timeless in the sense that it's a film which is going to last forever, but, but timeless in the sense of I didn't want to have a specific time. It's not, it's not supposed to be a, a real place. It's supposed to be an imaginary London, an imaginary Soho, um, a Soho where the audience projects their own memories of Soho perhaps on, onto the film itself. So I deliberately played around with the idea of, of not having a, a specific time. I think making movies is, is always political, it's always about activism, it's always about an intervention into the culture and I, making films is, is a form of activism. Um, it's just a very long process um, and I don't think my film is political in an obvious sense but I think it, it, it tries to um, look at male sexuality, homosexuality in, in, a, in, a, in an optimistic in an optimistic way which I think in, you know, in, at this time isn't easy.